Hey, Nikki. Yeah. Yeah, it's Ralph Schwartz. Hey, listen, I got to talk to you about... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad to hear things are good with you and Jane. Yeah, yeah. Listen, I got... Yeah, glad to hear that too. Look, Nikki, I got to talk to you about something. I already told you what to do about the job. Look, Nikki, I got to talk to you about something. Tri... No, 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 no. I'm okay. I'm okay. Uh, well, kind of. You, you see, I got this condition down, uh, you know where, and... Uh, it, 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 no, 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 it's nothing like that, it's... No, of course I wasn't with Laura. I got smacked there playing squash. No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, no, I haven't seen a doctor, that's why I'm calling you. Yeah, I remember that you said your sister was a nurse, I thought she might know who I should call. Oh, she's there now. Yeah, no, oh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll wait. Oh, yeah, too bad. I, th I thought she'd know someone. Uh, what? She said I should get several opinions? Three? Really? Uh, Ridgewood Health Professionals? Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'll, uh, I'll give it a whirl. Hey, thank her for me, would you? Okay, hey, I'll let you know what happens. Uh, hi, I, uh, I need to see a doctor. And can you tell me why you need to see a doctor? Well, I, uh, I got whacked. Uh, well, it's kind of like this. Uh, I was playing squash and then the ball came and uh, I got hit. Okay, you got hit by a ball, and that's why you're here. Yeah, yeah, I got hit by a ball, and I need to see someone, uh, you know, a, uh, a, a, a doctor. Okay, uh, you need to see a doctor. Uh, it might be helpful if you told me where you got hit. Uh, Do you think you could share that with me? Well, it's kind of personal. Ah, okay, let me see your medical history record here, Mr... Mr. Brown. Yeah, yeah, that, that's me, Ralph Brown. Mr. Brown, uh, I'm confused. Uh, confused about what? Well, your insurance card says Ralph Schwartz, and your application says Ralph Brown. That's why I'm confused. Uh, can, yeah, can I see that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, 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 I, I see, I see. My middle name is Brown, uh, and I uh, must have left off my last name. Uh, I do that all the time, uh, don't you? No, I always get my name right. Anyway, Mr. Brown Schwartz, uh, uh, where were we? I needed to get some opinions about getting hit with the ball. Right. I was asking you where you got hit. Right. Where right. I got hit. Right. Where you got hit. Uh, where <laughs> I got hit. Well, you, you... Okay. Okay. Let me guess. Um, you got hit in your head. Uh, no. Uh, look. In your neck? Uh, no, lower still. Chest? <laughs> lower. Stomach? You're getting warm. Okay, I think I understand. Now, how does this sound? You got hit somewhere above your knees, but below your waist. Is that about right? Right. Okay, one more question. Where you got hit, does it start with a T? And how many are there of them? Yes, a T. And there are two. Okay, well, I think I know where you got hit. You need to see a urologist. Now we have three, uh, Dr. Uh, Goldberg, Dr. Chestmore, and Dr. Mubunga. They're all highly qualified to work on either or both of your teeth. Now, <laughs> which physician would you like to see? Well, uh, my friend's sister's a nurse, and she said I should get three opinions. So uh, I guess I want to see all three, uh, but not at the same time. Okay. All three, but not at the same time. Well, I think we can manage that. Uh, your insurance will pay for it, except for the copay. Is that okay with you? Sure. I'll see you later.
see we have first. Oh, Dr. Goldberg. Okay. Sure. <laughs> see you received a blow to your testicles two days ago while playing squash. Are you in much pain now? Well, there's a bit of swelling and I have trouble walking, but other than that, everything else seems to be working okay. Uh, <clears throat> uh, can you tell me a little bit about yourself, Doc? Uh, you see, my friend's sister's a nurse and, you know, she said I should find out a bit about you, you know, credentials, experiences, and uh, sure, all that. I understand. I graduated NYU Medical School in 1982. I did my internship and my residency at Renaissance Hospital Terrell in Terrell, Texas. I've been in practice since 2004. I've written two very important medical books. <laughs> Letting Still Waters Run Free. <laughs> A set of my favorite haiku poems. My other book is Loving Your Urine. <laughs> Does that answer your question? Um, didn't I read that the Renaissance Hospital was the third worst hospital in the United States? <laughs> Yet another sissy report. Don't believe everything you read. And, uh, you, you said you did your residency in the 80s and you started private practice in 2004. Uh, what happened in between? <laughs> A good question. I see you are one sharp lad. Yes, I did post-residency work at the Church of Scientology Hospital in Curacao. <laughs> Very important. Very very important work. Okay. Okay, so if I may, can I see the swelling? Record swelling to me. <laughs> the moon is rising. I see the stars. Yet we wait till another sunset. <laughs> That's haiku. What do you think? I don't really know. Poetry's not my thing. Son, I'm going to hand it to you fast and straight. Good news, bad news. Are you ready? Okay. First, the bad news. Those things have to go. No way to fix them. They're goners. Down the drain. Bombs away. Yeah, they are, good buddies. Getting squished at squash may have launched you on a new career. Have you ever thought of singing in a choir? You know, soprano? <laughs> Castrato? No, I'm just kidding, just kidding. Hey, do you mind if I take some pictures of your jewels before we, uh, you know what? <laughs> I keep a scrapbook. <laughs> what? And the good news? It'll be fast. No problemo. Two quick snips, and that's all. And I'll even sing to you while I'm doing it. That's the good news? You'll, you'll sing while you operate? Well, I wouldn't call it an operation. In my business, we call it a quick snip. Same as we do with horses and goats. A, a, a quick snip? Horses and goats? Sure. I have a farm upstate and I do my own clipping. <laughs> it's kind of a hobby for me. 
They let you Sometimes do I sneak out at night and do my neighbor's animals for them. <laughs> and your neighbors let you do this. I mean, don't they ever call the cops? Sure. I call my pal Sam. He is a cop. We are researching a new quick clip technique. We call it ballistic orchiectomy. <laughs> no more messy cutting. I have a sniper rifle and a 40 power scope, and I shoot the buggers off. Bam! And it's done. And I can do it from the porch. No more stepping in doo doo. Uh, and, and when would you want to you know what I mean? Why, right now. If you just hop up on my table, I will get my scissors from my drawer. Get your scissors from the drawer? <laughs> sure. Well, else would I keep them in my back pocket? Uh, or did you think I was going to use my 38? Uh, uh, Dr. Dr. Goldberg, are you, are you sure about this? Am I sure? Of course I am sure. I am always sure. I am a doctor, a doctor of medicine. I heal the sick, I mend the broken. I bring life, I am like a god, only I get paid more. Now let's stop fooling around and get your ass up on the table so I can get those things rolling along. Yeah, uh, Dr. Goldberg, I gotta th think about this. And besides, you know, my friend's sister's a nurse and she said I should get three opinions, so. Three opinions! You want three opinions? I'll give you three opinions. Those things have to go. You are a jerk and I am God. There, now you have three opinions. <laughs> now get up on the table before I get mad and use my 38, you little pissant. Uh, uh, th thank you very much, Dr. Goldberg. You know, I just really gotta think about it and I gotta go now. <laughs> you think of Dr. Goldberg? He sure is sure what he's sure about. <laughs> well, he is sort of an odd duck, and, and it is a full moon tonight. Okay, how's about we get you in with Dr. Chessmore, okay? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Brown Schwartz, and how are we today? I see by your form that you have received a blunt trauma to your testicles. Is that right? <laughs> oh, you poor thing. Why, that sounds simply awful. Can you tell me more about it? Uh, 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 sure, but uh, first, uh, can you tell me about yourself? You see, uh, uh, my friend's sister's a nurse, and, you know, she said I should get three opinions. You know, interview three docs and uh, go from there. Sure, I completely understand. Well, this is me. Ever since I was a little girl, I always wanted to be a doctor. I had doctor dolls, nurse dolls, patient dolls. I had little bitty pills and a teeny weeny stethoscope. I had a doll hospital with a little bitty operating room and all that. I sure learned a lot from playing with those dolls. It's the dolls. Yes, my dolls. I graduated from Bergen Community College in 2000 <laughs> and then went to Ulaanbaatar Medical School. We call it UBMS for short, and it's in Ulaanbaatar. <laughs> Ulaanbaatar Medical School. Uh, I never heard of uh, Ulaanbaatar Medical School. Uh, uh, that's not in Jersey, is it? Oh, silly. It's the top medical school in Mongolia. Uh, Mongolia? <laughs> right, Mongolia. And everyone there looks Chinese. That's because Mongolia is near China. Anyway, I got my license to practice in the U.S. in 2010. Dr. Poochmeyer, the head of the New Jersey Medical Board, helped me to pass all sorts of tests. He said I had to take an oral and written test before I could practice. I did so well on my oral that I could skip the written and do <laughs> We had a lot of fun doing that. And he said I was great. Poochie, I call him Poochie, 
because of his last name. I didn't think calling him Dr. Pucci was right. Anyway, here I am. So that's me. Well, that's uh, <clears throat> very, very impressive. Okay, now if I can have a look-see, we will know what to do with our little problem. Please, step behind the screen and lower your pants. <laughs> oh, Mr. Brown Schwartz, those are lovely. Does it hurt? Oh, <laughs> it hurts like a bitch. Okay, since that didn't hurt, I would like to do that No, again. no, 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 can we just get that... Dr. Chuck, one, just tell me, tell me what you think. <sighs> oh, Mr. Brown Schwartz, I am sure we can fix that with my special massage therapy and some wine and candles. We can work on it at my place. How about tonight? And please call me Monica. Uh, Monica. Yes, Monica. Uh, massage, wine, and candle therapy. Poochie taught me that. It, it, Dr. Poochmeyer, the, the head of the NJ Medical Board, taught you that. Yes, and he said I was very good at it. <laughs> and, well, Dr. Chesmore, that's, uh, that, that's not quite what I was uh, expecting. Please, uh, call me Monica Ralph. May I call you Ralph? Uh, Dr. Chesmore, I, I, I really got to just think that over. And you, you know, uh, three opinions and all that. And Do you want me to give you three opinions? Uh, no, that... that <clears throat> That's okay. We could just skip that for now. And, and, and thank you for your time, Dr. Chesmore. <sighs> well, uh, what did you think of Dr. Chesmore? Well, she was, uh, <laughs> she was very impressive. Yes, she worked under Dr. Poochmeyer for several years. He always said she was the best student he ever had under him. <laughs> but he died very sudden and tragic. In fact, he died one evening while teaching Dr. Chessmore. <laughs> oh, well, uh, how's about we get you in with Dr. Mabongo, okay? Sure. some of my patients before. Please, have a seat. Let me tell you about myself and explain my appearance so that you may feel more comfortable. Please, sit. Go sit down, please, please. It's okay. Sit. Sit. <laughs> my parents were naturalized U.S. citizens and they were distinguished physicians in their home country the former Belgian Congo, which is where I was born. I graduated Harvard Medical School in 1988, summa cum laude, and first in my class. I was chief resident at Mass General, and I am also a diplomat of the American Urological Association, and past president, twice. Twice? <laughs> yes. <laughs> twice. And I've also been named one of the top three urologists in the United States. I've worked with Doctors Without Borders for five years in Africa, which is where I learned about traditional medicine. And what I found is that there is much we can learn from our ancestors in more than 15,000 years that they treated sickness. Uh, Dr. Mbongo, I, I don't know what to say. Uh, <laughs> 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 Those photos on your desk, uh, mm. is that you? With President Clinton and President Obama? <laughs> yes. They are both my patients. Both? 
They both go to a witch doctor? <laughs> yes. I am board certified in traditional medicine. And I also am licensed to teach and wear this traditional medicine doctor's dress. You may call it a witch doctor, but the real title is Doctor of Traditional Medicine. TMD. Doctor of Traditional Medicine. TMD? <laughs> yes, TMD. And I also teach a course in traditional medicine at Cornell, which is where I'm going after I treat you, and I was running a bit late, so that is why I'm wearing the TMD garb. Does that answer your questions, Mr. Brown Schwartz? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> okay, so, Mr. Brown Schwartz, according to your form, you suffered a blunt trauma to your testicular regions from a squash ball. Yes, they move very fast and are quite hard, if I recall. You probably have a localized hematoma, some swelling, and you're in a considerable amount of pain, but everything else seems to be working okay. Does that sound about right, Mr. Brown Schwartz? Good. Yeah. By the way, uh, what is this whole Brown Schwartz thing all about? That's a long story. Uh, just to get that for now, and just call me Mr. Schwartz, please. Okay, Mr. Schwartz. May I examine you? Come. Come behind you. <laughs> believe putting these things on are the most difficult part of my profession. <laughs> At least they didn't have a course and make this a requirement in medical school, or I assure you I wouldn't have graduated first. <laughs> doesn't go with my outfit, but it will get the job done. <laughs> oh, yes. Much as I thought. <laughs> come, come. <laughs> Your condition is not serious. And in fact, it is quite common, particularly in Africa. Quite common. Yes. Uh, you see, when our ancestors settled into the villages, they were primarily gold herders. And if I may use the vernacular, they were regularly butted in the balls by their goats. So again, your condition is not serious and quite common. So not serious and quite common in Africa. Yes. And to reduce the swelling, I advise that you make a tea by boiling tilly, tilly, tree leaves. Tilly, tilly, tree leaves? <laughs> oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, two cups in the morning, afternoon, and evening. And the swelling will be gone in two days. And for the pain, brew some willow bark. Uh, uh, what's willow bark? Oh, it is uh, rich in salicylates. You know, the natural aspirin, not the harsh stuff that you find in the pill. <laughs> This will reduce the pain without the risk of gastrointestinal bleeding. So, as you see, our, oh boy, uh, our, ancestors, <laughs> our ancestors were pretty sharp on some things. And you could find these materials without a prescription for around three bucks at any health food store. Although, I do think you'll be okay very soon. If you have any problems, be sure to give me a call. Do you have any more questions, Mr. Schwartz? Uh, okay, so... Teely, teely, tree leaves <laughs> and willow bark, uh, yes. swelling down in two days, no gastrointestinal bleeding, and two presents. <laughs> uh, no, uh, that, that's about it. Well, uh, I have to run, and it was a pleasure meeting you. And remember, if you have any problems, just give me a call. Thank you very much for your time, Dr. Mabondo. One doc, 
He wanted to cut him off right then and there. Yeah, what a wet job. The next one though, oh, a real looker. She wanted to treat me at her place with massage wine and candle therapy. <laughs> Tonight, yeah. You know, the last one though was, it was really, really weird and well, really, really very smart. I mean, he had all kinds of credentials and honors and he treats the president. <laughs> yeah, the president of the United States. And he teaches over at Cornell and well, what he told me seemed to make the most sense. Yeah. 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 Oh, which one am I going to choose? Well, the massage wine and candle therapy, you dumbbell. Hey, and it's covered by my insurance. <laughs>